One of the oldest churches in Queens has gotten a new facelift. The parishioners of Our Lady of Mount Carmel in Astoria are here to celebrate 175 years of their parish and the completion of a renovation that's been years in the making. Wow, this is uh, like amazing, right? It's Everything beautiful. Is, uh, like yeah. Really, really, really nice, beautiful. Members of the parish's multiple ethnic groups participate in the celebration. The present church structure, built in 1871, had been in need of substantial maintenance, repairing decades of wear. Parishioners also opted to restore original decor that had been painted over in the 1960s. The medallions in the ceilings, in the main vault, the uh, paintings on each side, the eye of God in the back over the main altar, the angels in their wings, the starbursts on each side. A new altar, too, was added. The altar and walls of the church are anointed with oil to rededicate them for sacred use. Though the church was anointed when it was first built, the pastor, Monsignor Sean Ogle, says that the amount of construction done to the building merits a rededication. They had to do an awful lot of plastering, so when we anoint these walls, those are, those are definitely the first time they will have been anointed. <laughs> the walls are anointed by two of Brooklyn's auxiliary bishops, both of whom have connections to Our Lady of Mount Carmel. Bishop Paul Sanchez was pastor for seven years, while Bishop Raymond Chepetto calls Our Lady of Mount Carmel his home. This is where I was baptized, received First Holy Communion, was confirmed, went to the grade school, said my first Mass as a priest, so I have a lot of uh, feeling for this parish. Both bishops credit the parish for helping them to grow spiritually. They also credit the patroness of the church for guiding them along the journey that led to their ordination as auxiliary bishops of the Diocese of Brooklyn. Mary, Mary is always helping us, you know, and interceding for us. And while Our Lady of Mount Carmel Church is named after the Mother of God, it also carries the title, the Mother Church of Queens. This is one of the many reasons that the parishioners have great pride in their church. How many can say they're 175 years old and look so well? <laughs> Every Sunday we be in here and uh, you know, it's, I don't know how to say it, it's, it's my church and you know, I love it. As you can see, there's still a little bit of work to be done before the renovation can be called complete. The parishioners will be wrapping this up in the coming weeks and in the coming months, continuing their celebration of 175 years. Reporting for Currents from Astoria, I'm Katie Breidenbaugh.